Okay, so here we are today. We're uh, making up double nucleus colonies. These are colonies that are divided into two with a partition here. They have vent holes at each end of each nuke box. And what we're going to do is fill them up with five frames. We're splitting up hives so that we're putting up two frames of brood on each side. Uh, we put one really good brood frame and then a, maybe a partial frame of brood, a frame of honey, an empty frame and a foundation frame. So each side will get those same five frames. Uh, we do this in kind of an assembly line style. Uh, we'll be carrying a hive to this location, dividing it up, and we leave one frame of brood in the hive. They get the returning field bees and they get the original queen. We find the queens as we're going along, so uh, you'll see how that goes once we get started. It's a little bit rougher than some of our other jobs, so we're going to put a veil on. It should be a good strong calling. Just take the super off that. That super is almost completely full. It's about 15 degrees today, so there should be a lot of bees inside the hive, and that'll make our job easier splitting today because there'll be a lot of bees on the combs that we want to split. Now we'll take a frame out here. I'm going to have a quick peek for the frame, and then I'm going to pass this frame to either Brooke or Dave, and they will be stationed on the opposite side of the table. And I'll call out the frames as I, as I go, look for the queen, and I'm gonna pass that to Dave. So Dave, that's a honey frame, no queen yet. And Brooke can step up here. Brooke, that's a honey frame, no queen. So you can see Dave has positioned that uh, honey frame, leaving lots of room to put brood frames in. So a quick look for the queen. We happen to have a frame of drone brood. I'm going to leave this with the original calling. Lots of drone in there, but don't see a queen. So we'll look at the next frame and then look here. Beautiful brood frame. So will this this will be a full brood frame. It will go next to the partition. Okay, lots of brood in that frame there. Haven't seen the queen yet. There you go, Dave. There's a lot of open brood on this one, not a lot of cap brood, so that will be what we call a second frame of brood. And I'm going to give that to Brooke, so she's got something to do. Looking for a queen there. Mm -hmm. We still haven't found the queen. And that will go in the second position, so not right next to the partition. Look, look, look for the queen. Don't see her here, don't see her there. Uh, I'll give that to Dave. That's a uh, first brood frame so it's a full frame of brood he's gonna check for the queen and that's another beautiful full frame of brood so 
I'll give that to Brooke and she's gonna have a good look for the Queen because we still haven't found her. And Dave's already spotted the queen for me, right here. So I will just pick her up. She's right there. Okay, so we're just going to pick her up and pop her into a cage. Great. There you go, Dave. You can figure out what that one is. Just call it out. Oh, uh, that's a uncapped brood, but a full frame of brood, so we'll probably go with the second. Sounds good to me. Great. Now we do have to leave something for this colony here. And as you can see, we're not going to fill up all these uh, boxes with, with one hive. But now we don't have to look for the queen. That's a second brood frame. Actually, let's give that to Dave. We'll, we'll, you can, we'll finish this one up and he'll finish his two there. Uh, here's a nice good solid brood frame to leave for this hive. And they've got this brood frame. We'll give them a frame of honey, put it right here, and then fill this up with empty frames. Two frame foundation on the outside. So Stephanie, can you start filling some frames up here for us, please? Okay, so we're going to put our empty in there and our foundation in here. So this one's complete. We've got a good solid frame of brood, a partial frame of brood, a honey frame with bees on it, an empty frame, and a foundation frame. So that's our split. If we look over on this side, we've got that one filled up, but we're only partly full on this one. We'll continue to fill it on the uh, with the next hive. Although we just need a honey frame there, right? Got uh, that's more of an empty frame. There's a honey frame and a wax moth. We'll get rid of that. And uh, I'll get this. I'll get that in there first. Dave, you want to put that in? So our honey frame in there. Our empty frame. Okay, we got one box done. So now we'll give them a little bit of smoke. Those frames actually had a lot of bees. Sometimes we end up shaking some frames out of the honey supers on here to, to add them, add in with that. But this one will be okay like that. So we get that uh, on here. Now what we're going to do is take this back to, or take this to another location. You can see the entrances are taped shut so the bees can't fly out. We'll keep them nice and cool. We'll move them to our other location. We'll put a queen cell on each side and then we'll cut a hole in here as you'll see uh, when we do the rest of that. So that now can go to the truck. Catherine, can you and Stephanie carry that? These are frames that came out of a hive that's it's died. We've checked it over, it's everything looks fine to be reused. So we want 10 frames, three, six, nine. We'll put one frame of foundation in here. Get a bit more new comb built up. All right, that one can go back and we will uh, reintroduce that queen and put the honey super back on. So that's it, that's uh, making up these double nukes. The first step of it anyway, getting them made up. These frames weren't hanging straight up and down. So I'm just reorienting them a little bit. There we go. So we, here we have the nukes that we made up, the double nukes. So there's two hives in each side here with the partition down the middle. And we've loaded them up with bees. We brought them to another yard. So when we open these up, they won't recognize the landmarks and they'll relocate to their new home. They won't be trying to fly home to the, the original hive. We don't leave our splits in the same yard so we don't lose half of the bees back to the original spot. 
So we'll be setting them down on the ground. We space them out fairly evenly, give them lots of different orientations. They have different colors, that helps with the queen orientation. We'll put them down on the ground, we'll introduce the queen cells, and then we'll partially open up the entrance. So we'll just set them down first. When we're carrying beehives, we either carry them two persons to a hive or one to a hive, but if you, you don't want to tip them to the side, like you wouldn't want to pick them up this way and tip them, or the frames uh, swing and can crush bees. Okay, so here we uh, have our queen cells in a queen cell incubator. We've set our nucleus colonies down, we've uh, cut a notch in the, the tape over the entrance, and now we're ready to put our queen cells in. We can transport our queens in this incubator that keeps them at 34 Celsius. We can plug this into the cigarette lighter in the truck, the 12 volt power source in the truck, or carry a, uh, a battery pack for more remote locations. And when we handle this, we handle it very gently and we keep it out of the sun. If the sun gets on the uh, shining on the incubator, it can overheat the queens inside the incubator. So we always keep that in the shade. But if we open this up, we can see inside. And so these are our queen cells. If I take one out, you can see the cell there. It's a cool day today, so we'll get these in fairly quickly. But again, we keep them at 34 Celsius inside this incubator. So we're ready to go. We're going to put some queen cells into our newly made up uh, double nucleus colonies. And we'll start with this hive right here. We'll open it up and remove the inner cover. You can see lots of bees there. We've got our two frames of brood here, two frames of brood there. And on the outside are honey frames, an empty frame, and our foundation frame. We're going to put the queen cells right in the middle in between the two brood frames. Dave's going to put those in now. You have to handle them very gently. Sometimes you even need to poke a finger in just to make sure there's a bit of space to get that cell into place. Then we put on a canvas cover and that canvas cover is sealed down against the partition and that keeps, the, when those queens hatch out, if they could get at each other they would fight and one of them would die. So this seals the bees up from one side to another and then we put on a canvas inner cover over top of that. When we come back in a month, we will open this up to see if there's a mated queen in this side and a mated queen in that side and then we're all ready to, to replace this inner cover with a queen excluder so that we can super these collies in common. We'll show you that a little bit later in the video. But for now we seal that up tight, we put the lid back on and carry on installing the cells in all the rest of the nucleus colonies. So the next step that we're doing here is we go around and we cut a small slot in the entrance here just to create a very small entrance for the bees to come out. That way they just gradually come out and uh, orient to their location. So we'll start and uh, go through all the colonies and do that. You have to double check that you've done that on all these colonies. If you don't, they will suffocate inside the hive, especially if the weather's hot. So just a small cut. And then when I'm done doing this, I'll walk back to the beginning and I'll check to make sure that all of them have been done. So whenever we introduce a queen or a queen cell, we put a tag on the front of the colony. Uh, this tag indicates the year the queen was reared, 2016, the colony number that the breeder queen lives in, so UG 
16, and then the mating status of the queen. This queen is being open mated locally, so we have OP for open, but uh, some of our queens are mated on the island, so we indicate that in this position on the label. On the double nucleus colonies, we need to put one of these labels on the f each front of the hive since there's bees in two sides of the hive. So we just, as soon as we put the cells in, we go along down the row and we put our queen tags on. It's very easy to lose track of what queens are in what colony, so we have to do this right at the beginning to make sure we keep track. <laughs>